Hey everyone, welcome back. As you guys already know, we have some videos on the channel for CAMBOS and other network diagnoses, including LINBOS and K-Line. But many of you asked us for making more videos on the network diagnosis. So we were planning to create some online courses for you guys. And the last time that we asked you about your priorities, majority of you voted for CAMBOS diagnosis. So today we are announcing that our online course for Canvas Network Introduction, Application and Diagnosis is now available on Udemy website. So here is our page on the Udemy. I put the link on the description for you guys, but right away I'm going to show you what we are going to cover on this training course. As you see, this course is going to be two and a half hours. After enrolling to this course, you will have full lifetime access to the content and you will get the certificate of completion at the end of the course but let's have a look at the content so right here you see the course content we start by the introduction so at the beginning we cover the basic of the network and the canvas for those friends who want to know more about the network so i start by introducing the network the importance of having a network on the car and i'll give you a couple of examples of the changes that network can make on the car then we go for the network configuration in this case i'm going to talk about the speed rate on all different type of networks and we will have a look at the basic layout of the canvas because we are going step by step then we will see what is the controller area network or canvas i'm going to explain the canvas evolution and we will see what is the canvas data creation process when one control unit is about to send or receive information on the canvas. We will also have a look at the canvas data frame to see what are the sections on a canvas data frame and when we are talking a message on the canvas, what does it actually look like? And then on the second section, we're going to focus on the high speed canvas. So I will introduce the high speed can and then we go for analyzing the canvas wiring diagram. But what we do in this case, after analyzing the wind diagram, I'm going to take the camera on the car and we will find all the canvas wires on the car. And in any steps, I'm going to show you the wiring diagram, the connected details. We will see the actual procedure for find the network. So we will have a lot of practical activities in this course. Then we go for the terminating resistors. We will test the terminating resistors and the canvas resistance on the car. Then I'm going to explain what's going to happen if we have a bad terminating resistor. And of course, we're going to simulate it on the car as well. Checking the high speed canvas voltage is really important. We will practice it on the car. We will check it with the multimeter. And the next step is going to be checking the canvas waveform. So we will see how we can set up the oscilloscope, how we can read the canvas waveform with oscilloscope. And then, of course, I'm going to set a fault on the canvas to see what is going to be the reaction of the network if canvas high or canvas low is down. We're going to focus on some diagnosis on the canvas, which are really important. You might have some problems like the canvas timeout or can communication error or canvas off. So in this section, we're going to cover all of them. I'm going to introduce what is the CAN timeout, and then we will practice it on the car. As you see, I'm going to explain everything for the CAN timeout between ABS and ECM in this case to see what is the proper procedure for diagnosing the car in this case. We will have the CAN communication error as well, and this is going to be our case, CAN communication error instrument cluster when ECM cannot communicate with one control unit on the CAN. And the last one is going to be the CAN bus off diagnosis, which is really important. We go through the step-by-step -step diagnosis for this one too. After covering the high speed CAN, it's time to focus on the low speed CAN. So I'm going to go for introducing the low speed CAN. Then we go for analyzing the wind diagram for low speed can. And of course, the next step after this analysis is to go on the car and find the low speed can network wires on the car, again, using the wiring diagram. I will show you how to check the voltage on the low speed can as well. And then I will set up the oscilloscope and I'll show you how to read and analyze the waveform on the low speed can. You may have again canvas error or canvas off faults on the low speed can. So I'm going to explain this one and I will set some fault on the low speed can to see what is going to be the reaction of the low speed can in case of this kind of fault. So we are hoping that 
this unit is going to be really helpful for you guys. And as you see, our friends on the YouTube are going to receive 23% off for this course. And this is going to be available until the end of September. So if you guys are interested to have a look or enroll to our course, please check the description to find the link for this course. Thank you again, guys, for following and for supporting us.